I don't want to leave a shadow of a doubt that this individual here was promoting MetaZoo at the very, very end. And my point is very obvious. You cannot trust his investment advice because he has a lot of native and he was willing to screw over his Patreons, his subscribers, if it meant he could sell one more native box. Where's the proof? Well, what better proof than his own videos? MetaZoo native is going to shock the market. MetaZoo native singles card prices are insane. And two months ago, unbelievable, native holds 100 plus in a bear market. I have addressed this video many times. It was not a hundred plus. I've even told you about liquidity. The liquidity on native at that time was almost zero. MetaZoo native is a home run success. Okay, I can forgive the other free videos because he didn't know. What about a video published two months ago? Two months ago, 20 minutes long, 19 minutes and 58 seconds to be exact for those Timmies out there. Unbelievable. Native holds 100 plus. How much money do you think Native is right now? If you bought Native at $100, how much money do you think today you can sell Native for? Oh, let's take a look. Where Hello Kitty is at 56, 52, UFO at 28, 23. I've seen it at 20 in Latent Gaming. Seance, okay. There's Wilderness, first edition as normal. Oh, there's Nightfall. Oh, here, here. 56.99, market price $70. All right, let's, you know, hey, that's not too bad, right? It's not too bad to lose this amount of money today. But it is bad advice, guys. If you bought native at a hundred plus dollars, you were buying at the peak of native. Native is crashing really hard. And this is the man that you are going to look for for financial. This guy has no idea of the game. I, I saw his Weiss video. As somebody who plays Weiss, you can see my, see my collection of Weiss. I pull SP cards, right? Pretty hard to pull. He has no idea about how many SP cards and cases. So he's making videos about how boxes are going up and then he's telling people not to buy these boxes because no one buys them on TCG Player. Oh, okay, let's, finally we, we hit the slide. Is this a hundred plus dollars already? It's only been two months, right? It's only been two months. This is a hundred dollars, am I blind? Or is this much less? Like $57, so your take home is probably if you're lucky, your take home after shipping, insurance, tracking, TCG player fees, scams, chargeback. You know, it's the meta zoo. It's all about those chargebacks right now. Everyone furiously typing chargeback. I would not want to be a meta zoo seller at this moment in time. Those chargebacks are not fun to deal with right now. This was really bad advice, guys. Please don't take his advice. Please don't buy his shit. I mean, one other good example I saw in the comments is Rudy is a magic channel. At, at some point in time, he was a magic channel. And he celebrated Magic the Gathering and be, basically being a magic channel. 6.9, right? With his mystery box. And what was in his mystery box, you may ask? Metazoo. It was MetaZoo promos of himself, MetaZoo playmats, it was MetaZoo cards, it was MetaZoo at booster packs. You don't think this guy knew? You don't think this guy knew that if he made a mystery box, people would think, oh, it's going to be Magic the Gathering. And mostly Magic the Gathering because his channel and all his subscribers are from Magic the Gathering. Essentially what he did was he took Magic the Gathering subscribers and forced them to be involved in MetaZoo via the Magic, the Mystery 6.9 box. You don't think this guy knew this was going to zero? I got a bridge to sell you.